everyone. Blessings for those of you who are returning, who are subscribers. I want to say welcome back. For those of you who are new to this channel, I want to say welcome home. I'm going to invite you to subscribe to this channel. Also, if you like my content, this video and others, share this video, share the others. Also, feel free to uh, drop a comment. I do enjoy reading uh, viewer feedback. Now, with all of that said, let's get into the topic of this video. And that is understanding mixed signals from people. So in this video, I'm going to go a little bit into the area of emotional intelligence, specifically within emotional intelligence, relationship management. I think emotional intelligence is something that uh, we all should be, an area we all should be developing in so we can be more successful in our relationships in life and basically, you know, grow and become better people. So mixed signals uh, is, is an interesting topic and I think it's one that we don't talk enough about and um, it's actually a topic in an area that causes many of us pain, especially when we're uh, in relationships, especially romantic relationships, and you are trying to get to know a person and try to proceed with a relationship and you don't quite know where things are going and you're getting these mixed signals and you're not sure how to discern it and how to figure it out. Well, if you're in that position, this is the video for you. So in this video, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about some signs uh, that you're getting mixed signals from someone uh, in your relationship and basically how to understand them and how to interpret them. So that's how I'm going to break the video up. So let's get into it. Let's get into some of the signs that a person that you're in a relationship with and that you're dealing with. It could be a romantic relationship or a platonic one or even a business one that you're getting mixed signals from a person. The first sign is that you are confused. The person has got you confused. They're all over the place. Um, they've got you questioning your your own judgment and questioning yourself. The person is hot. They're cold. One minute, you know, they're showering you with all this attention. The next minute, they're sort of like ignoring you and blowing you off. So they're up and down. They're hot and they're cold. And they've got you questioning yourself. And um, you are just really, really confused about the person, <laughs> where they're coming from. And you're confused about the relationship and what's happening there. So that's really the first sign uh, that a person is giving you uh, mixed signals there. Um, so also the second sign that I'm gonna go into is that the person's actions doesn't match their words. So they're telling you that you're fabulous, that, that you're wonderful, and that they're, they're gonna call you, they're gonna text you, they're gonna connect with you, and they make no attempts. <laughs> so what they're saying and what they're doing is like two different things. Um, Jesus talks about this uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse 37. He said, basically, let your yes be yes and your no's be no's. Anything else comes from the evil one. I mean, basically, how you would interpret that scripture. Jesus technically is talking about Old Testament oaths, but he's also talking about integrity amongst believers, us being true to our word, being us as people, not just believers, but also as people being true to our word and, and doing what we say, what we say we're going to do and just having that integrity there and how important it is. And it's a really a form of honesty. And this is what Jesus was driving home. So um, what Jesus said is true and um, we should, that's something we all should practice. But uh, if you're dealing with someone that's not practicing that, if you're dealing with someone who is basically their words are not matching their actions, that's definitely a sign that they're sending you mixed signals, right? The third sign is that um, because they're giving you all these mixed signals, you're not sure how to interact with them, right? So it's hard for you to communicate with a person because they're all over the place. They're hot, they're cold, they're up, they're down. And it makes you it makes it hard for you to approach them and to communicate with them. And you can't have those direct, you wanna have a direct conversation with the person to kind of like figure out where you stand in a relationship, but it's tough because they're all over the place. It's tough because of the vibe that they're giving out. And it's tough because they're giving you these mixed signals. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely a sign um, that what they're doing, they're just, they're just sending off mixed signals to you when it's when you feel like it's hard for you to approach them and um, you're not sure how to interact with them. And it's difficult for you to be direct with them and to ask them direct questions, right? Also, number four, let's look at number four. Um, 
the fourth sign, you are playing detective, right? So if they're, you're communicating with a person and because they're giving you these signals and you're getting these vibes, so they, they, you, you're, you, you're interpreting, like trying to interpret text messages, DMs, social media posts, past conversations that you had trying to figure out what's going on with the person, what's going on, your status in a relationship. You know, you got to put on your detective's hat. You know, you're bringing, bringing in your girlfriends or your good friends to try to figure out. You're talking about what, what he or she said and trying to figure out where they're coming from and, you know, just going through, you know, text messages and everything like that and emails and stuff like that. If you have to do all of that, <laughs> they are definitely, definitely sending you mixed signals. If you have to feel like when you're in a relationship or you're dealing with a person that you have to basically do all these things to decode their communication and what they're saying and what they've said in the past to try to get a feel for how they're feeling. Yeah, you're definitely, um, they're sending you mixed signals if you feel like you have to decode uh, communications with that person. Uh, and number five, another uh, sign of, of mixed signals is that um, you feel like something is off because probably something is off. You feel it in, in, in your soul, you feel it in, in your gut. And I wanna say in this instant to trust your gut if you're not feeling like something is right with the person all of the clues and the signs are, you know, is making you uneasy. Um, you're not feeling comfortable um, with how the relationship is going. And sometimes, you know, our body will let us know that a person um, is not right. Our body will let us know when a person is um, sending off, when they're a, a, basically a walking red flag. Our body, <laughs> so sometimes we also have to listen to our body. I mean, mentally we may, the person might be attractive. Uh, we might want to be in a relationship with the person, whether it be romantic or otherwise. Um, the person may have some good qualities and we may feel like this is someone we should be connecting with or we want to connect with or, you know, to be honest, sometimes we connect with people because we're lonely and, you know, they're somewhat giving us attention. So, but if, if your gut is telling you something about the person and you don't feel easy, um, and oftentimes when a person is sending us mixed messages, our gut will tell us, hey, something's wrong, you know, red light, red light, red flag, something's up. So yeah, definitely listen to your gut. Your gut will let you know and you will feel like something is off because it is it is off. <laughs> so um, the next thing that I want to talk about now that we've gotten through some of the signs that you're getting mixed signals from someone. Okay, so what could be behind the mixed signals that you're getting? So you've already determined this person is giving off mixed signals. So what could be possibly behind it? Well, the first thing you have to consider is that the person may not be necessarily nefarious or trying to do something harmful to you on purpose or trying to hurt you on purpose. Some people are genuinely, genuinely confused people. Some people carry a lot of inner chaos and turmoil, and that's how they show up in the world. <laughs> and because they have all of this inner chaos and turmoil, um, how they interact with people in their actions kind of like send off all kinds of signals, right? Mixed signals left signals, right signals, red signals, all kinds of green signals, all kinds of signals because the person themselves are confused people. So if you are, you know, dealing with a person who's just a ball of confusion, yeah, they're going to send confusion your way. And, and you might want to, although they may not be purposely trying to harm you or, you know, trying to get at you in a negative way, um, you still want to question whether or not you want a person like that in your life because, you know, um, confused people and people that um, have a lot of inner issues, they can actually bring problems into your life if you're not careful. And that's something you need to guard yourself against. Um, you want you want to bring as many stable people into your life as possible. So um so that the first thing to consider when you're trying to understand these mixed signals is that sometimes, you know, it's it's not purposeful that people are sending out these mixed signal, signals. It could be some personal things that they're going through. And that's just how that's the vibe that they're giving, get, giving off. And that because that's how they're showing up in the world, because they have not resolved certain things. So that's just something for you to consider. 
Um, the, the second thing to, to look at, um, what could be behind the mixed signals is that maybe we are um, mis misinterpreting uh, the signal or the, what we think is a mixed signal. So sometimes we could be off and wrong about people. It happens. So sometimes, you know, it's, it's really us. Maybe we're, we're looking at the person and the situation in a warped way. And sometimes, you know, that, that, that happens. We could be misinterpreting a person's actions. Um, so when we do feel like we're getting mixed signals from people, um, oftentimes we, you know, we we're always concentrated on a person and what the person is doing. But I also want to invite you when you're in this position to also take a look at yourself just to make sure that, you know, you're not misinterpreting the person because sometimes we also have to do our inner work. And, you know, um, sometimes we, we go through our own, I was talking about chaotic people who have inner chaos. Sometimes we have our own things to work out um, internally that's sort of like messy, right? <laughs> we all have mess. So um, so sometimes it's really not really the other person. Now a way to um, figure that out is, you know, through time, but sometimes it's, it's not them. It could be how we're seeing things. And sometimes we don't see things uh, correctly all the time. So um, definitely take a look in a mirror. Um, also, as you are getting to know someone and you may feel a certain way about the person, uh, maybe it's you, maybe it's some trauma you haven't dealt with, uh, maybe some issues, some trust issues you may have or some things that you've gone through that may have an impact on how you're viewing people in relationships now. Always good to take a look at those things. Um, so, you know, maybe, you know, maybe it's not them it could be you but uh, but a way to sort of like sort that out is really through time you want to i always talk about patterns of behavior in time um if if a person and also um consider this sometimes people could be sending off mixed signals at the beginning because they too are dealing with their own mess and stuff. And it could be not necessarily a mixed signal, but they, they kind of like have walls up and they're a bit guarded because the relationship is new. But through time, as you proceed with the relationship, you know, the walls should come down as you begin to develop and establish trust in the relationship. And whatever was mixed up or you weren't unclear about with that, with the building of trust will become, will come clarity and you'll begin to um, become clear about the person's intentions and um, the trust will begin to grow in a relationship and um, the mixed signals and what you perceive as mixed signals will, will go away with time. But um, if the person's behavior is consistently giving off mixed signals, uh, definitely is an indication that you sh should not probably proceed with the relationship that something else is going on. Um, so um, that leads me to uh, the third thing um, that could be behind uh, the mixed signal. And basically that is, you know, they're trying to play you. <laughs> the person is trying to play you. So um, there's two parts with that that I found, right? So they're, they're giving off the mixed signals they're, and they're doing it on purpose. Um, because they kind of like you, they kind of like want to deal with you, um, but they haven't made a decision about you. So they're going to put you sort of like on a back burner, um, go um, go with this person, go with that person. Um, they're not going to be upfront with you um, because they, they haven't made a decision about you. Um, they like some things about you, but they're not 100% sold. So they're going to kind of like string you along put you on a back burner, be bothered, be bothered with you when they feel like being bothered with you, kind of like pick you up and put you back down, you know, um, you know, they're heavy in a text messages and getting in contact with you and um, showering you with all this attention. And then they kind of like ghost you for a while and, you know, don't show up. And then out of the blue, you get a text message or, you know, they drop in your DMs. So, um, so yeah, um, they're, they're playing you, you know, if they're stringing you along and they're putting you on a back burner, you know, so that could be behind the mixed signals. Also, another thing is that um, people tend to send off mixed signals when 
um, they're not being honest about something. They're hiding something, right? And usually that something that they're hiding is not something small. <laughs> it's something significant enough that will basically um, lead you to ending the relationship, right? So they're sending off, you know, these mixed signals because uh, they have something to hide. Um, maybe it's a, another lifestyle, another person that they're dealing with. You know, there are multiple relationships that they're not telling you about, some sort of secret something that's going on. Um, so basically, you know, there there's a lack of honesty there. Um, and that's why they're giving off the mixed signal. That's why you're confused. That's why you don't know where they're coming from because they're trying to mask something. And usually when they're masking it, masking it in that way, um, they're not doing a very good job, right? Um, because a person's vibe will basically tell you all you need to know uh, about them, right? If, if you're a discerning person, and um, I'm going to do a video on that, developing your discernment, because I think that's something we all need to improve in an area. So yeah, those those are um, some of the ways um, that could, or some of the things that could be behind um, mixed signals from people. So um, basically, that's all I want to share with you. Hopefully, you know, if you're going through this in a relationship and you're dealing with this issue, hopefully what I share with you is helpful um, and it's a blessing to your life. Um, and if you like this video, share it. Anyway, um, that's all I have to um, share with you in this video. Take care. God bless. And I will see you in the next one.